hello youtube hello the world hello everyone so today i've decided to introduce blender into the workflow i've decided to start talking about blender uh, because blender is a crucial element in the whole uh, open source uh, architectural slash design slash des slash everything so uh, blender is extremely powerful uh for a lot of things and blender has a very 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 good relationship with freecad uh which is interesting and so understanding and knowing how to put these two together and harnessing their strength uh is quite interesting uh freecad uh the difference between FreeCAD and Blender is that uh, Sasso had a very good Sasso from the FreeCAD community had a very good way of putting that. He was uh, he said uh, FreeCAD is more like clay uh, clay modeling, and then uh, Blender is more like paper modeling. So paper is lightweight; you're just stitching things together, and so uh, that's mostly what Blender is, and fr and FreeCAD is more like clay, so clay, you see it has density, it has a volume, it has weight, and so when you cut it, you know, you see that it's not an empty void inside, you see it's filled with the material and the substance, so that's why the computer sort of had to computerize and calculate and generate every change that you make, but in, in Blender, Apparently, it, it works with vertices, but I'm not going to get confused into all of that. Basically, the thing is that Blender is used for um, modeling scenes, animations, uh, all kinds of things. And so it's extremely versatile and very useful. Navigating around is extremely fast. Uh, moving things around is very fast. And so you can make design changes, think fast, and, and, and really explore creative possibilities much faster than you would in, in FreeCAD. And now the and now where it comes together is that uh, now you import this into FreeCAD and now you have the ability in FreeCAD to to extract uh, things you need for the documentation, for example, uh, um, construction document, creating and generating documentation. So let me stop talking and get ahead with that. Um, but at least you need to know a few basic things about uh, Blender to be able to manipulate this thing and be a bit more proficient but i'm just going to show you a few general things because this is just an introduction of uh for now of the possibilities uh, of what it means so if i press n here i have this uh, tab that shows here uh where you have things like the transform and so this object here that i can select with the right click you have the sun uh, you have the the light, uh, the 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 source of light, the lamp, and you have the camera here. All of these are the three generic things that you would see when you open a Blender scene. So you have the cube here, which is an object, and so the cube here, um, uh, cube here is an object. So this is the dimension, right? The dimension is a Blender unit for now. Blender unit does not have any value; it's just a bunch of numbers. Uh, but if you come here to this thing here called uh, the type of active display it it has this thing called the unit presets which shows you the length and where you can change that metric where you see it every everything has just changed to to meters centimeters kilometers and you know or you can change that to imperial where things change to fit in inches and stuff like that so uh, you can work in both unit and you can see the grid here also they change when I was changing around so um let's stay in this unit for now uh so it says that this this square is two meters by two meters so this is this is a good thing because everything that is scaled in blender you can model in blender with precision and, and as well and so and be confident that you'll be able to have the same thing in freecad uh, you know and stuff like that so let me just show you what i mean uh, so I have this cube that is telling me that the, the dimensions are 2 meters by 2 meters by 2 meters. Let's create something else on the side. Let me create a plane here on the side. And I'm going to tell this plane to be, let's say, maybe 3 meters. Or let's say 7 meters. That's fine. Let's, uh, let's add another object. 
Uh, let's add a, uh, a circle. Uh, let's tell this circle to be what? Uh, da -da -da. Let's tell it to be four and four meters and four. Okay. Uh, the circle is not a face, so it might not import well, but we will see. Um, so let's try a, a sphere. Uh, the sphere right there. Let's add another object, a cylinder. Let's add uh, a cone. Let's add uh, a, um, a torus like this. And let's add, um, what else can we add? Um, let's add the monkey. We want to see how he's going to import. It's basically made of meshes. So we will see how some of the meshes are not connected. So as you can see. You know, this mesh is not connected. So we will see how all of this imports. Um, let's add a... Uh, let's add... Um, let's see... Okay, well that's enough. I'm gonna add a plane beneath that, like this. Move it down slightly, like so maybe by uh, by negative one like that okay so uh, let me flip this okay so the good thing about blender again since it's a modeling scene is that you can easily move things around it doesn't have the same way of thinking as as blend as freecad uh, and so moving things around is fairly st straightforward you know and this is what allows you to to manipulate things so for example if I want to put this cone uh, I want to I want to duplicate it, this cone and and I have this snap options here where I can tell it to snap to the vertex the edges and stuff like that so um, I can tell it to, to, to snap to the face as well you know so for example so that 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 this cone is perfectly aligned on the top of of this uh, of this square so uh, so it's very very quick to move things around as well and to do things much more than what I'm showing you but the the biggest strength as well is in visualization because I'm able to let's say render it I'm able to to see what it looks like in real time uh, let's see I want to change I want to change uh, this rendering to the world sky texture and increase the strength okay I want to select my lamp and tell it to become a Sun So now I can start to see some shadows. I can uh, give materials to a lot of objects. So it's very uh, intuitive in this sense. So you can always make informed decisions as you're modeling uh, whatever you're doing. Um, so now enough about that. So I'm going to select all of these things, including the plane and the circle, and then file export, export as an OBG. Now in the settings, I want to make sure that the upward direction is in the Z up and forward is Y forward. I want to tell it 
to export the selection only whatever I've selected and also the scale I want to increase the scale to 1000 enter alright so I'm gonna just give it a name I'm gonna call these objects like this and hit export obg now let's go to freecad let's start a new file we're in the architecture workbench that's good um, file import obg ex um, objects open as a mesh and select that okay so I have my objects here so as you can see all of them were selected and it imported as one mesh one mesh I can view uh, the lines this way so right here I can already tell you that this is gonna have an issue an issue okay but let's see as is and now I'm going to tell the architecture this is where I'm going to tell it to split the mesh because everything is one object so I'm going to first tell it to split the mesh there's many object mesh inside this mesh that I imported so I'm going to tell it to split the mesh split that mesh and so it did put everything into a folder and as you can see um, it's it did split the mesh so if I select that okay you see so now I'm going to start converting all of this one by one um, hide this select this one and then go to the architecture again architecture utilities and then go to mesh mesh to shape okay so let's look at what happened so let me hide that and so as you can see as you can see uh, I have successfully imported an object that uh, with all its uh, form into into FreeCAD and this is actually a clean one so now this thing I can you know play with it the way I normally play with it in FreeCAD or I can uh, find out uh, more information about it I can get the dimensions here for example um, so this is extremely useful uh, this one is particularly clean I can convert this into even a wall object if I wanted to um, it's doing some thinking here it's saying well wow, this is quite a complex shape <laughs> come on okay you did it anyways so now this is my wall so that's a wall so now it has all the diff you know the, the properties of a wall so I can do whatever I want to do with it except change its initial size but it's still dependent on the base uh, on the base you know okay so bring back the other ones so now since I have exploded all of these meshes you know it's a mesh because it has a green icon to it so since I've exploded all of these meshes what I want to do now is I want to uh, ex convert all of them into a mesh to shape you know so it's the converting the mesh to the shape um, by the way um, you can convert a mesh back into a shape back into a mesh by going to the part and go into part um, create shape from mesh no that's not what it is uh, da -da. well there's a way to do that okay go back here um, so create mesh to shape okay so let's look at what happened 
so clearly I have my plane that worked so this is now a plane that I can do all kinds of things with it I can tell it to become a, a, a ground structure but in this particular instance uh, the, the, the plane itself is broken that's why it's all red uh, that's the thing to specify that when it's what when they convert into red shape that means the form is it has some form of a discrepancy about it uh, and you would notice that with the cylinder here that was supposed to import but that's not really what happened let's see that right so we have one the cone did not import of course And of course, our Susan did not import. Architecture mesh to shape. Uh, cannot compute inventor representation for the shape object. Blah blah blah. Okay, so basically, it cannot do it. So this is what I wanted to show you. So. There are, some inst there are some kinds of shapes for which this is not going to work for and it has to do with um, with the fact that if it's not a clean um, <clears throat> a clean uh, let's how am I gonna say that uh, a clean shape like a clean face like where the node meets you know like a rectangle a rectangle only has two edges that meets at one corner so uh if it's not a clean shape like in this instance uh you see this face is norm it's normally supposed to be a normal face but it has this triangle that divides it that's not supposed to be the way it should import so a lot of the times when modeling in blender we want to pay attention to these kinds of shapes that do not import the way we want um, for example let's see this face for example as, as it is object apply scale as it is let's import it um, file export obg okay let's call it floor export okay and uh, come here file import okay select that okay so that's our new floor let's convert it again convert to shape so same deal can we turn that into wall no there's an error so we know that that's a problem there's something not exactly right about that um, now what I'm gonna do here is that I'm going to give it a, a, a modifier solidify and I'm gonna make it uh, you know 50 centimeter thick like this object apply scale Okay, file export and my settings are good. Apply modifier, okay, and then call it floor again. Export file import floor object. Okay, so now do that again. Architecture, um, mesh to shape. Okay, so this one, what about you? Okay, so this one works well. You see how everything is pretty clean. Um, so I don't have an instance of triangulated edges on this entire surface so everything's pretty clean so if you're able to model uh, something with this kind of uh, capacity so let's look at the cylinder for example the cylinder uh, did not import well because this face 
this face is connected to so many to so many edges um, so one face has so many nodes so this is not the way it's supposed to be thinking so what let's try something else so let me delete this face and delete this other face or oh, actually maybe not let's make it look like some kind of basin right so now I'm going to give it a solidify modifier with a certain thickness as you can see that's a thickness it's not even so I'm gonna make it even and high quality normals like this okay so let's try this so file export obg cylinder everything looks good export okay good um, so bring back free cat file let's me let me hide this and hide that and hide this one or delete that not very useful delete that file import cylinder obg mesh okay so let's look at our cylinder and file convert to mesh architecture convert mesh to shape okay it's not even budging and see I give it okay okay that's exactly the problem here so it has a hard time with these nodes so in in blender so these are the kind of things that we want to observe so let me take another scenario where I delete these at uh, this end phase okay so now let's try that again in FreeCAD I'm just going to delete this one delete this and in Blender I'm going to file export OBG cylinder export okay import OBG <clears throat> open okay we have a new cylinder here still a bunch of issues uh, actually no that is not what we wanted to import we just wanted to import one cylinder file export OBG cylinder selection only export file import cylinder OBG open mesh open okay so this is our new cylinder architecture let's look at the base the base looks full okay let's try to convert that <coughs> cylinder mesh to shape let's look at the result okay so the result seem okay now let's see if it works okay so it works well so we have a good shape here as you can see your shapes have to be very clean um, I can still use the same cylinder to create let me downgrade that so I can use the same cylinder to create a wall now select that and build me a wall so that's a wall um, so if it's a wall so that means I can put a window so that's a window okay so <clears throat> so there are some shapes that you have to observe the way you model them in a program like blender if you want to make sure to obtain clean results so you have to pay very good attention to that 
Um, so that was a cylinder. Um, typically planes do import easily. Uh, so you can, but it's good to always um, extrude them to give it, let's say, a four-dimension property to it. Because once the plane is in is in FreeCAD, all you have to do if you want to, um, you know, manipulate it more, I can, for example, uh, let's see. Uh, let me go to that surface. I can, for example, easily select a face like this one and again extrude it, you know, like that. Or, you know, select that and extrude it. So I can always manipulate it even further in in FreeCAD uh, should the need be uh, as long as it's clean as long as it's something that I can work with as long as it meets the, the you know the purpose of my objectives so that means that <coughs> FreeCAD then uh, Blender then allows us to uh, it gives us the ability to, and the flexibility to now do a lot of crazy complex things uh, let me uh, try something complex. Okay, so um, let's see. I had a cube right there, and I, you know, I can scale it like this, uh, and then I can come inside of it, and I can do this, right? So now I have that. I can copy this and I can tell the copy of it to have a, uh, a screw modifier. Mm, maybe not that one. That's let's say um, something that was simply bended simple deform for example like this now I have a simple deform and I can give it more vertices like this okay so now I have something like that and I can now duplicate that even more and this one I can give it a wireframe like this increase the thickness like that okay And so now you quickly begin to see that I can create as many complex things and now let's select that and select this <coughs> and let's export that so f first of all in, in blender again I can easily visualize what I'm doing I can say okay what's going on uh, first of all my building cannot be floating in the air I can select that and I, I just move that right there uh, I can see okay well I want this to be some type of aluminum frame where I come here and I give it a material property okay and then I like it I see okay I like it I like it now I have this uh, other material here I see okay I want that to be some type of funky funky glass or funky whatever so I you know I give it a material so I tell it well maybe I want you to be transparent uh, glass 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 where are you like that uh, slightly bluish too why not uh, 
and then I have the other glass maybe and this one is gonna be maybe reddish a reddish glass doesn't go well with the, um, the other glass light is not going through so I can simply change that material and tell it well um, maybe uh, another diffuse I suppose so I can begin to appreciate what my model is looking like and if I'm satisfied with that uh, with playing around with all the possibilities and options that I can potentially create select that again file export OBG I can also export that in as a colada uh, depending on what I need uh, now you've noticed that I selected everybody uh, so that's in, you know I I'm going to actually let me select one at a time so let me select a frame file export OBG <coughs> call that frame okay export come to free CAD I'm going to delete all of these delete that yes and my window yes and the sketch yes file import uh, frame OBG okay alias mesh alright so here we have a frame so I can select that frame convert that into an object mesh shape and as you can see <coughs> I have my mesh shape here let me see if I can turn that into a structure taking a minute The shape is a little bit complex. Okay. Let's start a new free cat file while he's thinking. <coughs>
This was probably not the best idea. So I'm going to just close this. Okay, so we're back, so um, let's try this again. <coughs> so if I import uh, the frame like this. Now the frame is quite honestly very complex, um, but uh, I've been able to mess with more complex than this in in FreeCAD before, so not exactly sure uh, why it took him so long to try to open that. But um, let's go to mesh the shape. Okay, it's gonna do its job. Okay, we're happy with that. So let's go to import. Oh, actually, go back to Blender <clears throat> and select this guy and. those two okay so file import export actually uh, OBG well, let's call that glass funky glass <coughs> export that and in FreeCAD file import that uh, glass OBG alias mesh so now I have as you can see two mesh so now I can see hmm, I can see a split mesh split mesh so now I have two mesh so now I can say architecture convert mesh to shape so now as you can see I have one mesh here change the color <coughs> Uh, go to that and select the other glass and change its color go to that okay so as you can see I have my, my structures in now uh, even though this is not exactly the way you would expect all these triangulations uh, to work with this is still a model that you can use to build on because it has the ability to to snap to things um, you you can you know you can still use this model to to do some analysis to investigate a few things to dimension to certain things to build to model on top of it you know so you could still use this model uh, 80 and uh, let's hide you for now <clears throat> so for example in this instance uh, you'd simply come here and uh, bully in this so I'm gonna copy this copy that and paste it Okay, so let's hide it too. Select this one. Let's try to subtract that like this. What happens? Okay, so you have something like that, right? So now let's paste again. Paste. Now this time the other way around. Okay, so what do we have here? Is it the same thing? something like that <clears throat> okay so now so now I say okay well I like what it's you know I like I like the form of it I like what's coming out of it so now 
in 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 uh, in Blender, what you can now do is that you can add floors and array them. You know, you could say, okay, well, uh, I want to add a bunch of floors here, and I want to cut the floors, and I want to export the boolean of the floor. And in in Blender, you in FreeCAD, you're gonna have, let me just show you what I mean. So let's say I wanted a floor that would have this kind of spinning. <clears throat> a floor that is mixed with these two objects. So I'm going to duplicate that, come here like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to boolean these two objects. Um, so I'm going to call this. A, I'm going to call this B, and I'm going to select B, and I'm going to give it a boolean, like this, and I'm going to tell it to boolean with A, and I want a union, like this. So now I have a union. So let's find out what happens if I give it a solidify modifier object apply scale thickness even thickness high quality normal I'm probably not that Turn off the high quality uh, thickness. Okay, so something along these lines. Okay, <clears throat> so now I want to add some flaws in there. So I'm going to select that like this. Come here. And I'm going to array these floors. Uh, let's say turn that off. Let's say let's pretend that this was 50 centimeters apart, like so. Or maybe uh, 20. Increase the amount like this, and then I want to give it a new thickness. I want to give a solidify modifier to my floors. Okay, one centimeter is fine, looking good. So now I have that. So, what can I do? So, I'm going to cut my floor again. So, now I have this product. Uh, which is my boolean, what's his name so I'm going to add a new uh, boolean like this and I'm going to tell it to cut this one it's called the plane so I'm going to tell this guy to cut the plane like this not to intersect It's giving me the difference okay so intersect I have some not so clean uh, stuff happening here so let me um, Let me put the solidify down, or um, let me turn off the solidify for this one. So 
so as you can see I have the ability to quickly view the results and see if it's working and in this kind of instance there's a lot of uh, let me apply this to show you apply apply So what I can do is you know there's there's all these um uh this this type of floors that I can export but not all of it is going to import in a clean way because down here you have some very interesting stuff happening. So this kind of stuff will be much better to to join in Blender, in FreeCAD, uh, because FreeCAD is a volume. It's not going to give you these simple sheet planes, uh, but in Blender you can also do some uh, some editing. Uh, this is another imp interesting thing about the way that you model in Blender. But this is not what I wanted to show you, so delete that and uh, come back here. I'm just doing a bunch of things for now. Oops, I've reached the end of my undo. Okay. So what I'm trying to get is this a bunch of volumes. Well, I'm going to get the square actually. I can simply do this. File export. Okay. So now I can uh, convert that into split mesh like this and select all of that and convert that into a mesh to shape like this. Now I have a bunch of floors. And so all of them are good floors. So uh, you know I can extract them from these volumes. Uh, Let's see if you were to do something like this. You have that initial glass. So let's say I had a copy of this. So copy this, copy and paste, copy. Okay. Okay. Copy and paste. 
Okay, so the first one. The first one I'm going to require you to cut this. So I want you to cut that. No, that's not what I want. I want Okay, so I have to play a little bit more with these things, but um, you kind of get the idea. That I'm going to be making a few more tutorials in this fashion, uh, I think, uh, when I see the need to show you how the workflow between Blender and FreeCAD can be enhanced to, to, to do a lot of interesting, cool stuff. Because uh, I'm starting to just play around. Uh, it's been a little while since I did some of these operations, so it can take a bit of uh, time to remember exactly how I did all of them. But you can see already the kind of interesting results you can get from playing with this. Uh, you know, I can say, okay, well, you know, I probably want this to be my my greenery section where all the things I grow is going to be located things like that so that's it for now I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you into the next video